Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, last time we made our way back to Motorstoke here by going through the place. <laughs> We're getting the map so you can see. Uh, yeah, we went through this mine here in the last video and arrived back at Motorstoke. Uh, and then we had a little battle with Marnie here, and she's very cute. And I love her. And yeah, we're gonna go to Motorstoke Stadium now and get the Fire Gym Badge, which will be very easy. Uh, we have the Water Starter, so I am not concerned at all about this. Uh, we're just gonna head over there and be good to go, I think. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Do do. And yeah, we're making very slow progress because I'm recording everything I do in this game. I sure am. Hello. Look at these enthusiastic people. Adorable. Okay, this is the stadium, right? Yep. Yeah. Slow moving, aren't you, Danielle? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. I nearly got burned in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Daniel. I bet you could beat the man of fire too. A shift on. Oh. I like that particular Britishism because um, the 13th Doctor uses it, Jodie Whittaker, and she's so pretty, and I love her. <laughs> oh, she's just, she's so great. Such a sweetie. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello. I've made it this far at least, but now I'm not sure I can make it any further. Can I really beat the fire gym? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you can. Like, you just need some water types. You're one of those gym challenges that were endorsed by Leon, right? No wonder you're up to taking on Kabu. Yeah, I am. I got the grass badge and the water badge, but can I really get a fire badge? Yes. It's not hard. Hello. Hey, a gym challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challenges since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. Must you change your uniform first? Oh, right, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm uniformed up. You may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than others you faced. In you go. I guess that's the fire badge? I don't know. Okay, um... What's going on? Nice mustache. The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Okay, so it's like a double battle. Gym missions start against wild Pokemon, but also they're comp like we're competing with our Teammate, this is weird. Uh, let's go. Hello, Litwick. Go, Cynthia. Jim Trainer Charka sent out Sizzlipede. Okay, um. Well, I don't really want to kill it if I can avoid that, so let's go with Water Gun. Um... Oh no! Oh my word, is Challenger Danielle really going to end this thing with naught? Are I any points? We won't let you get through the Fire Gym's mission that easily. Oh, this looks really hard, actually. I'm too strong for this battle. Um, I'm gonna just switch, switch my starter around. Okay, that's a Sizzlipede. Jim trying to L. Cute. Uh, 
Let's try Sucker Punch, see if we can whittle you down a bit first. Wait, did Solana just attack me instead? I think so. Yikes. Yeah, they're attacking me instead of the other Pokemon. That is just rude. Uh, that might be enough, let's see. Yeah. Just as Lapid was caught. Come on, gained experience points. Do -do -do -do. Sizzlepeed is one I haven't caught before, gonna be added to the Pokédex. Radiate a Pokémon, it wraps prey up with its heated body, cooking them in its coils. Ugh. Once they're well done, it will ferociously nibble them until the last morsel, I think. I accidentally nudged the controller. Hmm. Steve. Sizzlepeed's name is Steve. Uh, to the box. Two points. Okay, um... If there's only one more Pokemon to look at, I can't get more than more points. Or, oh no, they respawn. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm not sure how you could fail this, because if they're respawning every time you do a battle... Maybe it's only if you get points in the battle, like you could mess them all up and run out. Okay, Psycho Punch is also super effective. I'm just gonna do U-turn. And send out something that's less effective, like, um... Hmm... Oh right, ghost type, yeah. Litwick is ghost and fire. So normal moves won't do anything. Let's go with Charles and use some electric moves. Yeah, that's, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, what? They're attacking me again? This is rude. Okay. It strikes me as weird that the controller doesn't vibrate when the ball is wobbling like that. It probably should. Hmm. Anyway, I got a Litwick. The younger the life this Pokemon Pokemon absorbs, the brighter and eerier the flame on its head burns. Yeah, Lit Lit Litwick is horrifying. <laughs> hmm. Laverne? That's it, that's a name. There we go. Send to a box. Do, 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 do. Four points. Okay, so yeah. I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. Uh, let's talk to this Vulpix here. Hi Vulpix, you're cute. Go Cynthia. Okay, uh... Let's try Sucker Punch. There's a good chance it'll attack me instead, though. It failed, because Vulpix is using Spite. I don't know what that does. Rapid Spin. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. You turn. Oh. That's actually a good amount of damage. Um, let's send out something that's not very effective. Uh, fire. Fire's not very effective against fire, apparently. Mm. 
I think Will-O-Wisp is a fire move. M maybe it's Ghost, I don't know. Anyway, let's try catching. Yeah. Volpix was caught. Okay, so that's probably a lot harder than the actual battle because I had to not kill things. <laughs> As each tail grows, its fur becomes more lustrous when held, it feels slightly warm. Only slightly? Like, like as warm as a normal living, like, mammal? Like, like if I held a kitten or something, same amount of warm as that, or is a Vulpix more warm? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, there's not a lot of a lot of good words names that begin with V, so that'll do. <laughs> there we go. Um Mission cleared, yeah. Oh my goodness, those two trainers are identical twins. And they're both so pretty. Clearing gym leader Kabu's gym mission like that. You're positively on fire. Next you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, Challenger. Okay, I took a little damage before, but I don't think it's enough to probably matter. Let's have a quick look. Oh, uh, maybe I should heal up Cynthia. She's at like half health. Uh... Hmm. We'll do it again. Okay, there we go. We should be fine now. Brushing my hair there. Oh, hey, Kabu, you're on this side. Instead of on the other side, like, 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 um, some of the other leaders have been. <laughs> Look at those paper cutouts of people up there. <laughs> it's, it's very obvious. <laughs> what they should have done is make a Paper Mario game, and then they could be paper cutouts. And it should have been exactly like Thousand Year Door because that's the best one. They should remake Thousand Year Door. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon, Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which size and Unlabeled is able to unleash their true potential. Yep. Okay, I probably don't want to Dynamax immediately. We'll see what happens. You were challenged by Gym Leader Kabu. Sent out Nine Tails. Yeah, that's Nine Tails. Okay, let's just live with Water Pulse and see how we go. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Will-O-Wisp? Oh, I got burned. That's not good. I think I'll be okay, though. Um, a burn does damage and it also reduces your physical attack. But I think these moves are special attack anyway, so it probably doesn't matter too much. Mm, I might need to heal that burn. Um, what else do I have that has similar type advantages? Nothing. Um, I'll put out Charles so that I have something out while I use the burn heal or whatever. I hope I have something that's a burn heal. I didn't actually check. <laughs> Puppy. How many Pokemons do you have? Oh, it's Arcanine. Oh wow, you're bigger than I expected. I thought Arcanine was littler than that. Intimidate, you say. You are a bit intimidating. Okay, three Pokemon. Alright. Uh, let me just jump in here and have a quick look. 
Yeah, burn heal. I got lots of those. Boop. Used to burn heal. Cynthia's burn was healed. Agility. Puppy. Speed rose sharply. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna hope about the burn. Okay, we'll switch back. Switch back now. Um, just wanted to do the heal first and maybe get a little damage in. But yeah, burn, burning the other Pokemon is probably better. Although if they use Willowisp again, I'll get burned again. Mm. Oh, Flame Wheel. That's fine. See. <laughs> Chances are, I probably want to save the um. What should we call it? Save the Dynamax for the last one. That's usually how this goes. Use Bite. You know, you have Dark type, huh? Mm, not a problem. I'm good. Goodbye, Arcanine. Is it Arcanine or Arcanine? Like it's K9, but I don't know. If... Hmm. Charles leveled up. Well done, Charles. More than Gareth. Uh, I didn't see what that was. I, I typed too quickly. Why'd that fire and got your mind moving, Kabu? There must still be a path to victory. Center Scorch. Oh, I see. It's the level up of Sizzlepede. Alright, so now we're gonna Dynamax and use Max Geyser. Big Pokeball. Two hands. Chuck. <laughs> Burn bright seem to scorch the Gigantamax change your size and your form. Yeah, I kind of thought they'd do the same thing. Okay, I do get a rumble when they're growing here, but not not when the ball wobbles when you're catching a Pokemon. Weird. Anyway. Used Max Geyser? Yeah, there we go. Ooh. It's super effective. Started to rain. Max Flutterby? Is that bug type? Oh my goodness. My special attack fell. Not a problem. Choose another geyser and I'll be good. It's super effective. And Scorch fainted. Or exploded. What what whatever whatever. One of those. <laughs> Level up. You defeat Gym Leader Kabu. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. You got 4 3 20 for winning. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. Also, I'm like 10 levels higher than you. I still have much to learn. Yeah, the, the thing is you need to level up your Pokemon. You need to, you know, get experience points and make them higher level and, and then that makes them stronger. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Fire badge. Yeah. Gotta keep the other two from falling out. Now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. 
We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Thanks. <laughs> okay, job done. Danielle! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Drizza will be the ones, but still. That match had me right on the edge of my seat. Alright. Challenger Danielle. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think all of the leaders Pokemon had them had it. Yes, it inflicts a burn. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. I don't really want that, but alright. I think you've proven your skill well enough that we should try your hand against the gyms that await you. Starting the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokémon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves! Alright. Okay, so we are done here. Um, it's only been... about 20 minutes? Yeah, I think I'll keep going. We could probably get a little more into this video before we're done. Oh, more cutscene, okay. Hurry it up, Danielle. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one to become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. R really? It's not that hard. So I make a point to sell off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Whew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Hi, Nessa. You're pretty. Danielle Hop, congratulations. It's pretty too amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challenges are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 Hop. You can do it, you can do it, Danielle. <laughs> the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokémon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Come on, Danielle, let's head for Hammerlock. Nessa, I wanted, I wanted to tell Nessa she's pretty, but we have to leave now. Hmm... Did I get healed after that battle? Like, I used up some, some PP and stuff. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. <laughs> Is that a reference? Like, it sounds like it sounds like the sound of silence. I don't know if that's supposed to be. Danielle, have a look us up that way. Got it? Okay. Uh, and yeah, you could certainly rush there without a single detour, but now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokémon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokémon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion must have really been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokéball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Danielle to battle in Galar Mine number 2 and listen to her there. And I'm her greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Danielle and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? Wow, beat the jerk. I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. It's not it's not Wally, it's Bead. Well, Wally's a different character. So see you later, Danielle. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Alright, I guess I'm in the wild area now. The game just sort of put me there automatically. Uh, let me see if I got healed. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's, let's have a bit of a look around. We haven't been here in a while. Um, can we do these things yet? Okay, we have a bicycle now, so that's cool. We can get around a bit faster. 
Pokemon dens. The pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens. You'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own and get up to three other players to help you out. 50 watts. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, I see. I see how it works. Okay. And yeah, this is the only part of the game that lets you move the camera around. And not that much, actually. Like, I'm trying to move it further than this, and it only goes up and down a little bit. Which is really strange. Is there a zoom feature in this one? I don't remember. I haven't been to the wild area in ages. Okay, the L button sends the camera behind you. And the R button doesn't do anything. Excellent. <laughs> Oh no, the R button counts as the gay button, so it, or one of the buttons. It counts as the one that makes you go faster. <laughs> I forget which button that is. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I feel like you should have more camera control than this. Like, if you've played games like Breath of the Wild or Odyssey or... Like, this isn't much better than Animal Crossing, and indoors in Animal Crossing, you've got a lot more freedom than this. So, <laughs> I don't know why this is so limited. Like, y you can move the camera pretty much anywhere you want inside your house in Animal Crossing, and this is the place you can move your camera in this game, but it moves even less. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is an underwhelming title. That's a Snorlax. I don't think I have a Snorlax, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> um, can I get onto that thing? Or is that... No, it's just decorative. And there's some water. I believe we get the ability to cross water on the bike later on, but I don't have that yet. Found a great ball, anyway. It's just on the ground. I guess someone dropped it. I'm not going to return it, though. And is this the right way? Hang on, what button is it for the, the map? You have to just go in here and... there we go. Hammerlock is that one, right? Yeah, we are, we are going the right way, okay. Yeah, I guess this is your real uh, vis first visit to the wild area, because the previous time you didn't have to go through very much of it. And this time you do, by the looks of things. And yeah, I can't reach that island yet, but I will be able to. Eventually. What is that? There's a house over there. Let's go have a look. Is that the daycare? It's got little eggs. So it might be the daycare. Let's have a look. The Pokemon Nursery. The right place for all your Pokemon egg finding needs. Okay, not, not... Hmm, interesting. Hello, this here is the wild area branch of the Pokemon Nursery. We're just as capable as the nursery on Route 5, don't you worry about a thing. You be leaving any Pokemon with us today? No, mm, never mind. Did I leave someone Route 5? I've forgotten. I may have done. Might need to check that later. <laughs> Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Stony Wilderness. Oh, this bit's rainy. Alright. Is that Hammerlock up there with the weird floating bridges that it has for some reason? Dusty Bowl, wild area. I'm glad I got a bicycle before having to go through this much of the wild area, because this would take way too long otherwise. I should probably be catching some of these Pokemon we're going past, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so presumably, yeah, Hammerlock Hills, so Hammerlock was presumably that place up there. With the giant dragon mouth. Is it a dragon type gym? That would be cool. Haven't had one of those in a while. Hello. Ah, uh, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motorstoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Was he defeated, actually? 
Here, just look at the gem badges I've already won. So wait, are you not allowed into that town at all unless you have the gym badges? Like, that doesn't make much sense. Like, not everyone in the world is a Pokemon trainer. Uh, other people might need to enter the Hammerlock. Thank you, Challenger Beat. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. I'm guessing Hop actually won and B just doesn't want to admit it. Okay, so I guess this is Hammerlock. And yeah, it sounds like that guard is there to force you to get the three badges before going to Hammerlock, which is confusing. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Ooh, clothes shops. Do they have new stuff? I like the design. It's like a, like a castle. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can I go up on all those little spires and stuff? Because if not, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, let's see. We've got clothes shop. we got... What is that? Is that a hairdresser? I think so. I think just putting readable labels on these places would help a lot. <gasps> Curlia! Hi, Curlia! Little tiny. Hello! Aww. Uh, I'm guessing they didn't have anything too exciting, but let's have a quick look. Uh, hmm, yeah. No, no, go to the next one. How do I... Oh, right, D-pad, okay. Or I can... Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, yeah, none of these are super exciting. Ooh, hang on, there's some skirts. I like skirts. Hmm... I feel like they're a bit too short for me. No dresses. What do we got socks wise? Ribbon socks in various colors. We've got some different backpacks. Are there any that actually go like on the top part of your back, which is where backpacks are supposed to go? <laughs> um, sport cap in different style. Boda hat. Oh, that's kind of cute. And we got sunglasses, round eyeglasses, but you can't see through them for some reason. That's weird. You should be able to see through them. They're, they're, they're set eyeglasses, right? Yeah, and you still can't see through them. <laughs> Do they know how glasses work? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done for now. I might go get changed. So yeah, you need an actual change room to change clothes for some reason. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's getting a bit colder, so maybe I should put on something a bit... Yeah, all of the skirts in this game are tiny. I feel like they should not be that small. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there we go, that'll do. Do, 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 do. Um, so yeah, there were new clothes, but nothing too exciting. Uh, let's stuck in here and have a look at this place. Oh, this is, this is not, this is a food place. Right, it's a guy with some coffee. So the next one is the barber, where you can change your hair, right? Yeah, it's got a little pole. Yeah. Oh, look, look, it's Rapidash, or Ponyta. I think it's Ponyta. Hey, Ponyta. Oh, look at that little baby. I love you, little baby. Oh. Looks like this place is run by these identical twins here, so that's pretty cool. I'm styling my Pokemon. Or, well, at least I'm practicing. Cute. Well, we can go back here if we want, but there's no reason to, because you can't interact with anything. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oop, something shiny. Okay, I think we're probably about done for this video. I don't really know uh, what to expect from this, this city yet, apart from it looks real cool. Uh, hang on, can I turn that wheel and... No. I was hoping I could, like, put the drawbridge up. That would be neat. Is that the gym? Maybe. 
Can't you say we're practicing our chants here? You're not passing, you're not passing, you're not passing, not through here. You'll not get through till we're all done here. It didn't... That wasn't very good. <laughs> I guess keep practicing. We'll just ride a bicycle down some stairs. And up some stairs. That's how bicycles work, right? Uh, oh, something here. A muscle band. Increases the power of physical moves, yeah. I feel like a type advantage booster is probably better. Especially with, um, like, stab and all that. Do, 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 do. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe muscle band is good if you have a couple of different types of physical moves you want to use. Welcome to the ancient city of Hammerlock, a city, a city of great history, living and thriving within castle walls that date back to the Middle Ages. Alright. Oh, there's another train station over there. That just there, that's the station. Um, uh, I can't go that way either. Hmm, it's it's very noticeably railroaded in this game. Um, a millstery holds this little spin around happily. All right, is that a good thing, or does it have no effect? Or I don't know. Wise glasses held by Pokemon, the power of special moves. Okay, cool. So that's like the the corresponding thing to the muscle band. All right, but yeah, this game feels very linear and railroaded into doing things a certain way compared to some other uh, Pokemon games. Oh, oh, cutscene, sorry. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bede. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop one of the champion endorsed trainers just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger B, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? Hi. I hope you were listening, Danielle. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokémon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, you should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Uh, is, is he gonna just force me to go in, or...? No, okay, I'll get to that next time. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, I guess we're gonna talk to Chairman Rose, um, at Hamelock Stadium, which I guess is down there. I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye!